Hey Ravens fans, MAB Celebrity Services presents a Ravenous celebration February 22nd and 23rd at the Doubletree Hotel in Pikesville. The autograph event will feature the world champions, Justin Tucker, Tory Smith, Chucky Brown, and many, many more, including Terrell Suggs. Log on to mab-celebrity.com for complete information and to pre-order autograph tickets. Welcome back to Press Box. Before the break, Joe Platani and I were talking about the big game, but now let's move to the post-victory Baltimore celebration with our photo of the week, which is brought to you as always by Yingling Lager, a true American classic. Taste the quality, 180 years of family-owned and operated tradition, brews into every single bottle. This week's photo by Sabina Moran adorns the cover of Press Box, and it accurately portrays the frenzy of the reported 200,000 fans that turned out on the streets of Baltimore and that made their way into M&T Bank Stadium for the victorious season-ending party, a party that our guest Joe Pladania missed by being left in New Orleans, and that is some cover. What do you think of that cover, Joe, first of all? That is, uh, that is outstanding, and that's saying One a lot. of Brad's best, Brad Mirholz. Brad Mirholz, great job as usual. He usually comes up with terrific covers every month, but I really think he outdid himself with that. It really captures the essence and the feel of how Charm City knows how to party after a title. Or, as Ed Reed said, and we actually used a quote as the second headline, the, the football city, yeah. and it's in quotation marks, Ed Reed called Baltimore the football city, with a crowd like that, was it, was it a mixed emotions that you got to witness a little bit of that, like 30 seconds on the nightly news out in New Orleans? And I didn't really feel that bad about it. I mean, I've lived in Baltimore all my life. I've covered sports here for 33 years. I've seen and been in the middle of a lot of gatherings like that. So as long as I'm, my hometown's happy, as detached and objective as people like me try to be, if my hometown's happy, fine with me. All right. 200,000 people it was absolutely unbelievable. We've got some pictures from down there with Ray Lewis, and uh, there's Ray. Ray didn't seem like he wanted to part too often with that uh, Super Bowl trophy. And one of my favorites by Sabina there with the, the live Raven. There's Joe Flacco with his young son. Uh, just a, it was it was an unbelievable experience. I tell you what, and the Ravens in their their own mission statement, which they issued as soon as they moved here, they say they want to win multiple Super Bowls. Well, you saw Joe with his first child there, and Dana has baby number two on the way, so maybe he will see his second child at another uh, Super Bowl celebration. And and the, the fans really really had a great time, uh, as you can see uh, through all those uh, terrific terrific shots. I asked uh, the day of the State of the Ravens press conference. I asked a question that Steve. Bashotti sort of not I'm not saying he blew it off but I asked him about what this did to the brand of the Baltimore Ravens becoming a multiple Super Bowl winner you know now when you get past New England we've won as many Super Bowls over the last 10 or 11 12 years as anybody else you right. know there's only a handful of teams that win the damn thing Dick Cass seemed to get that question this really does elevate the Ravens brand, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. When you can put the fact that you're a world champion and a recent world champion next to your name, uh, it, there's so many things you can do from a business and a marketing standpoint. There was one franchise, and it's killing me that I can't remember which one it is. They, their offices were on one championship drive, and when they won their second Super Bowl, they changed it into two championship drive. I'm kind of surprised <laughs> we haven't seen the Ravens change the dress of their building into two winning drive. But if they do, you heard it here first. One more football question, and then we want to touch on something else, some sad news. But tell me about, you know, we're, we're seven months away or five months away from kicking off. Who do you think the Ravens will kick off on that Thursday night game, assuming they don't change course and the Ravens are home on the first Thursday night? And B, what do you think the chances of this team repeating are or at least contending for a title. Oh, they'll contend for a title. I mean, John Harbaugh and his staff have a way of keeping his team at or near the top of the NFL echelon. So contending won't be a problem. As for the uh, the opponent in that Thursday night opener, which the Ravens will host on September the 5th, uh, the best options are probably New England and Pittsburgh, but look for Houston and Green Bay to be in that mix as well. And uh, let's just remember, back in 2001, a lot of people were upset the Ravens didn't defend their title with a Monday night home opener. ABC did not have it as a tradition then. NBC did, Good. so they have decreed it, so the Ravens will open on September 5th at home. All right. We know the Orioles are out of town? Uh, I think they moved uh, one of their day-night doubleheader dates to, the, to kind right. of accommodate that. All right. Uh, bittersweet news uh, we just heard before taping today. 
Joe Gross, longtime writer, columnist for the Annapolis Capital Gazette, has passed away. You knew him. We got about 40 seconds. Uh, just, just a wonderful man. That handlebar mustache will be in my, in my memory forever. Uh, every year at the Ravens pre-draft lunch, and Ted Patterson, myself, and Joe Gross, we'd eat lunch together, sharing a lot of stories. 1998 Maryland Sports Writer of the Year, the same year I won Sportscaster of the Year. So um, we go back a long way. A lot of great memories. Joe, I'll miss you so much. All right, Joe. Thank you very much. When we return, we'll be visited by a local woman who's done some amazing stuff based all around her love of soccer. Ali Andrzejewski, when we return. Inside Press Box is presented by Friedmont Mortgage. Don't make a 30-year mistake by choosing the wrong lender. Go to Friedmont.com now for all of your mortgage needs.